Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of Knowledge Channel. Today we've got the HP Victus with us today and we're going to do an unboxing and a quick review and see is it worth it in 2022 to go for the AMD 4800H or is it better to upgrade to the new to the newer 5000s and 6000 series. So let's watch. And here it is guys. It should be a white box to be honest but it's a black box even though it is the white module. First thing we notice is the brick or the charging station and it is quite a big one, a substantial one I have to say, about 16 centimeters long or people who prefer inches, here you go, like six inches and two thirds over 16. And I do apologize about the sound quality because I haven't got my microphone. I had to sell it. Look at that beautiful looking Lappy, oh my goodness, that is beautiful. These beautiful colors, actually the lack of colors. Sometimes lack of colors is even better than color itself. You've embarrassed us by the way. Was it you? Or was it this guy? Probably was you, wasn't it? It's like having children, is it? So it does come with the instructions if you don't know how to use a laptop. I don't really think you should be buying a laptop if you don't know how to turn it on. Now if you notice here guys, it's got this beautiful V shape which makes it really beautiful. Now I did smudge it a little bit, but it does shine. It's like a mirror, you can watch yourself if you're into that sort of thing. So let's talk about ports. We have two USB 2.1s here on the right side nothing at the front and at the back here uh, oh sorry on the right we've got an sd card thank you very much hp victus we've got the sound or microphone mic in you've got a usb c and also can be used as a charge charging port and also another usb 3.1 hdmi this thing i don't know what is it called rj42 i think and the power plug I hear I did hear that there's a bit of play on the screen. Let's see if there is gonna be a screen play. There is a little bit, there is a little bit, but it's not bad. Wow, look at that beautiful. I'm in love with this laptop. So far, it's got everything that I really wanted. It's a bit heavy, I would say 2.5 kilograms, 2.6, and, and yes, there is a bit of wobble. Check this out. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. It's gonna be annoying, but you can always support it at the end of the like on the wall. If, if you're using it on the wall, but if you're using it on your lap, yes, this is going to be problematic. I hope my chick does not do a little poop on it, because to be honest, I don't want to be scraping the poop off the letters on my keyboard. So hopefully it's going to behave. You, you better behave. I don't want you doing any poops there. Oh yeah, he's nicking, he's picking on the NVIDIA Geoforce. I think he's got a liking to this particular module, especially <laughs> the graphics card. <laughs> but his friend over here, if you notice, or his brother, to be honest, or sister, I don't know, he likes the CPU. So let's turn on, where is the on button? Okay, where is the on? One of the things I like about laptops is finding the on button. So if I could just scrape you off here, if I could just scrape you off. Now there is no indication whether there is any power, ah, it's here. I hate when they put the power button here, I hate it. Because you always are likely to press it when you're, it's next to the delete button. It's the worst place to put the power button next to the delete button because every time I wanna type a project, I wanna hit delete. Boom, I've switched my laptop off. Why would you put my power button here? Put it here, put don't it here. put it next to the delete button. Anyway, sorry, I had a little bit of a problem because I'm very upset with this. Anyway, there is a very beautiful LED light over here. It's very nice. Okay, I think it's time for you to go now. Now, one thing I can tell you about the screen, it's a bit matte. It's got this matte look. It's not bad, it's, it's big, it's 16 inches. And it's beautiful, but it's a bit of a matte. It's not, it's, it hasn't got this gloss feel to it. It's not that supreme. You're not looking at the supreme screen here, but to be honest, personally, I prefer this. I prefer this to the other types because I don't like shiny finishes. Let's see if it, it is indeed a 16 inch screen. 
So this is what the advertise adds. So we put the zero here. And definitely, yes, it is on the dot, 16 inches screen. Let's set up my windows. I think that's how Germans spell it, windows. But I don't know if you can see this. These can, you can peel them off. Boom. Th these are the little hairs that are coming off to be replaced by feathers. Now this, on the other hand, is Pippin. This is Pippin, one of my favorite chickens ever so kind so friendly one thing i noticed while i was setting up the windows is that these keys are quite difficult to see in daylight because they've got the led backlight plus i mean at the moment the camera is doing a really good job of contrasting them but in reality it's so bright that you can't see the letters at all i don't know if you can at the moment but i mean i had problems finding the k even though I know where the K is, but it looks like an H. The nice thing about this laptop is that it does not make any noise. So at the moment, it is downloading Windows, which is a very task heavy thing to do. And installing all these programs and settings and it's doing it very quietly. So that's nice. I hope it always stays like that. If this is the maximum this laptop goes, then you can very easily sleep next to this laptop without any problem. One of the other things I can tell you is that the finish here is perfect. Very nice, very matte, and I love matte. And this is just nice. And you obviously have these stickers here, 144 hertz, Bang and Olufsen. We're gonna test those in a few seconds. And the screen, as we said, I would rate it as six out of 10, or maybe seven out of 10. It's not bad and it's not very, it's not great. If you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, maybe photo editing, video editing, Adobe, anything like that, you might want to invest in a 4K screen or at least a Quad HD screen. One of the things which I noticed that are really cute is that when you mute the sound, there is a little LED here to tell you that you've muted it. The other thing is when you do caps lock, you also have a very cute LED. Obviously the power annoying placement is here, but you do have an LED. What about number lock, number lock? I think it's always on. No, there is no LED on the number lock. It's just because it's always there. I don't think you need to lock it. And the keyboard is very tactile, very nice to the touch. It does have a bit of haptic feedback, so that's nice. I like when it's a bit clicky, but not so clicky. I think they got it right. I would rate this as eight out of 10. The other problem is there is a bit of a flex here. Can you see? There's a bit of flex. I've done about a thousand of these setups. And I'm so used to just clicking yes, 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 yes. Because I've downloaded Windows about, I would say, at least 20, 20 times in the past few months. One thing my chicks love about laptops in general is when there is the function lock key. So I was looking for it and then I thought, oh no, it's not here. But turns out HP has thought about it and here it is the lock function key. I love that. So if you want to control the volume just by clicking volume up or volume down, you can do that. And if you want to do it the other old method way, which is function and then F keys, then you can do it. So this is why my chicks really love that feature. Thank you HP for including it in the F12 button. Now let's talk about some of the negatives in this laptop because every laptop has some negatives. Well, so far what I can think of is that the power, the power charger is quite substantial. It's heavy. I wish they've made it a little bit smaller, but then it does use the AMD 4800H which is about 60 watts, they could have used a 4800 HS, which could have saved, obviously, the wattage. It could have been about 45 watts or 30. So this is obviously the little bit faster. If I were to be really picky, I would say that this V, the Victus logo, is quite annoying because for some reason, like, without subconsciously, I th keep thinking that it's trying to point me somewhere and it's like telling me, look here, look here. So I keep trying to look there thinking what is there, but I'm, I hope I'm gonna get used to this arrow. It's quite annoying. I wish they've made the logo a little bit different. The other thing which I can complain about is that I love the return key when it's just one big key rather than these two separate ones. And final thing, I love when these are not attached to each other. I love when the power, uh, when the arrow down key is on its own, right about here, because this is a little bit confusing. Some people prefer it like that, but I would like it to be just like these two, separated by a big distance. So this uh, image that you can see on the screen, it was actually shot in a very high resolution camera, the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark III, with an F, 
with a 45 millimeter f1.8 so this is a really high quality image and i can tell you that it is high quality because i'm the one who took it so if i can now uh, see now i'm pressing the the to increase the display so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do function lock so function ah we need two hands for this uh chick could you press the f12 when i tell you just press here that's it yeah press this one okay no this one the f12 f12 now it's function unlock so now i can it's not working what about the volume no nope. check this out guys i've got a small problem so now i'm trying to decrease the sound okay so i go here i click that and look what's happening it's very odd so then i go here very odd it's not doing anything if i press function and then the the look this is function lock now so if i unlock it function unlock so function so now i've done function lock i hope when i press that it's gonna increase but look it's not doing anything there is a problem with the function key and understandably my chicks are very upset oh no here we go again when i just pulled my blinds off i just noticed that this is quite massive to be honest because it now has contrasted with the screen and it is quite chunky for 2022 here are the specs of this laptop it's a uses the amd Ryzen 7 5800h processor and i think it's got the the graphics card which is about four gigabytes only and 16 gigabytes ram so to sum up really this laptop i would uh, maybe look around unless you really want this white color but there are better options out there probably if you pay about 100 200 pounds more you're gonna get better deal altogether but if you really like this white and you can't have it without this white color then i would recommend it and also it's got the sd card reader which is quite nice and uh, it's got okayish gaming uh, gpu card or uh, process uh, if you want to do video editing and so forth but other than that there is nothing really that stands out for this laptop there's nothing really going on for it except for the color just a quick update i've been using this device now for uh, about an hour and uh, i'm just resetting it to factory conditions i'm gonna return it back to be honest it is one of the worst screens i've ever seen i had to put my glasses on because it is so bad it makes me cross-eyed it's very bad i don't think this is not even 1080p unless i'm because i'm used to my quad hds and 4k screens this has become really bad and obviously my phones is also quad hd samsung's and asus and it just makes me unable to even look at the screen anymore. So unfortunately, in 2022, I highly don't recommend you buying an HD screen. Highly recommend not buying it. What you need to do is either Quad HD or 4K. And I do recommend 4K, even if it's only 60 Hertz, but it's only gonna make, if it's that small thing, it's gonna make a massive difference, not only to how you see things, but also how you, react to the laptop how you play games how you do your media definitely not worth keeping this laptop unfortunately and about the noise now you can hear the true its true self it is quite loud and it does not stop it just keeps on going and going what was my review previously was it a six or a seven out of ten i'm gonna bring it all the way down to five i'm gonna give this five out of ten unfortunately it's heavy it's got a bad resolution screen it's loud and there is a bit of flex and the screen is wobbly a big bezel here a five out of ten heavy brick I might even give it a 4 to be honest, but no, let's keep it fair. 5 out of 10. Thank you HP, but I really don't recommend people buying your product. I can't escape from my chicken. Stop following me. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم 
صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين